Should you use Google Pay? Today, I will answer three questions. First, what is Google Pay? How to use Google Pay? And the last one, and maybe most important one, is Google Pay secure? And if you stay till the end, I will have a couple of tips and tricks that you can use to make your phone even more secure. What is Google Pay? Google Pay is a mobile service that you can use to pay for products and services. It is a contactless payment method that you can use without using a credit or debit card. You can use it on your phone, both for Android and iPhone, by downloading the app, or you can use it on the web. Your phone need to be Play Protect certified and have an NFC, Near Field Communication Chip. As I said, the easiest way is to install the Google Pay app or GPay. When you have that installed, you set up your preferred payment method by adding credit or debit card or a bank, a bank account. When that is done, you can use your phone to send and receive money between friends and family. If you want to send money to someone, that person don't need to have GPay installed. You can also use it to make payments in store. Usually they have a sign at the door or up at the register that say that they accept GPay. All you have to do is take your phone, unlock it, unlock your GPay app. You just hold this, your phone right above and hold it there until a check mark shows up on your phone. You can also, as I said, use GPay for some online shopping. But the app also includes several offers that can help you save money. And it has a function that helps you track all your purchases that you do using GPay. So now let's talk about the most important question. Is GPay secure? The simplest answer is yes. But let's break it down a little bit. First of all, no payment method is 100% safe. But let's look at the security in GPay. First, let's talk about the information you add about your credit, debit card or your bank account. That is saved on Google's secure servers with the most reliable encryption. But more important than that is the NFC, the Near Field Communication. This is used by Google Pay and all other payment wallets. The NFC is actually safer than using a credit and debit card than swiping your card using the magnet strip. If you are swiping a card using the magnet strip, that actually transfers your actual account number to the merchant. NFC and GPay, on the other hand, don't transfer your real account information. It transfers a token, a virtual account number. And this number is a new number for each transaction. Secondly, the NFC use very short distance. You must hold your phone within a couple of centimeters from the card reader. And for you who are not used to centimeters, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So it's a very close distance between your phone and the card reader. For someone to be able to steal the information, they must be within a couple of centimeters from your phone and the card reader. And even if they manage to steal it, which is not very likely, they just steal the virtual token, the virtual account number, and not your real account settings. So what can you do 
to improve security on your phone. First of all, make sure that your phone is set to auto lock when it's not in use and have it set up so you have to use either a pin or preferably a fingerprint or face recognition to open it. You can also add this requirement to the GPay app itself. So you need your fingerprint to open your phone and then you need your fingerprint to open the GPay app itself. When it comes to using the function about transferring money to someone, it's really simple. Only transfer money to someone you actually know, friends and family. And to make sure that you protect yourself from scammers, like someone sending you an email or a phone call and pretend they are from YePay and that some transaction has a mistake within it. Remember that Google will never ask you for your password, your PIN, your bank information, your credit card numbers, your social security number, or any other personal identification information. Google will also never ask you to download a third party application. And lastly, if your phone is lost or stolen, contact your phone provider. And if you have Find My Phone installed, make sure that you immediately use that function and lock your phone or maybe even erase your information. And most important, Never leave your phone unsupervised and unlocked. In my next video, I will show you exactly how you can install and set up Google Pay on your phone for those of you who think this can be a good alternative for you. And if you want to learn more about security online, you can watch this video about two-factor authentication. Until next time, hey the world.